Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new, hi, hello, I'm Tia. I hope you'll stick around. So subscribe to this channel for more vape videos and give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to ring the bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Today I have the Tinker 2 by Wismic. I don't think I've ever looked at the Tinker original. This is part of their Relo line. And I just have a smoke or smock tank on top of here, the TF, because I didn't get mine in a kit, I just got the mod. At the top is a 510 threaded spring-loaded contact, and at the bottom is the battery latch door for the two 18650 batteries it takes as well as some venting holes. When you install batteries, it turns on automatically, but to turn it off and turn it on, it takes five clicks to the fire button. And it's off. Five clicks on, and it powers back on. I do currently have mine set at 60 watts. You can see here on the screen, it shows the output level, which is 60, the output mode, which is wattage, the amps, the ohms, the battery life of both batteries. There's also the date and time up here, but it's incorrect because I don't bother to set it. And also the amps changes as you inhale. To increase or decrease the power level, you just use the regulatory buttons here as per usual. It does go all the way from 1 to 200 watts. It comes in four different colors and it's installed with the Avatar chip. It is 93 millimeters by 53.5 millimeters by 28.5 millimeters. Mm -mm -mm. I have my flavor cloud kiss in here, of course. When in wattage mode, you want to keep your resistance range between 0 0.05 ohm and 3.5 ohm. But you don't only have to vape it in wattage mode, it does do TC mode for NI200, titanium, and stainless steel. And the resistance range for TC should be 0 0.05 ohm to 1.5 ohm. It has a 0 0.001 second firing speed, and I believe that because when I first put the batteries in to vape it, I went to turn, see if five clicks turns it off, and it was at 200 watts. Oops, I thought I burnt the coil but I didn't. And I just went to go one, two, three, four, five, and on that first, it was like shh, and I was like, oh, shit. You press and hold both regulatory buttons. It goes into key lock mode. Then you cannot adjust the wattage that you're in, but you can still fire it. And you can see when you fire it, it brings up a seconds counter on the screen. To unlock the key lock, you just press and hold those two again. It'll say key lock and it'll flash to unlock and you are free to adjust. Still not that good at O's after all these years. It has an IP67 rating, dust proof, shock proof, and waterproof. This mod right here. To change from wattage mode to TC mode or TCR or RTC mode, you just go one, two, three to enter the menu mode. Then we have mode, settings, info, and exit. So if you go mode, select, then you have power, TC, TCR, oops, and you just use these buttons. Then you can select TC, and then you can select which TC option you want. You do have to pick one, and then it turns to Fahrenheit. So it goes from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and then it round robins into Celsius at the highest Fahrenheit to the lowest Celsius of 100 degrees and the highest Celsius of 315 degrees. If you go into info, you can see the battery life and the version of software. And if you go into settings mode, you can lock the coil, you can turn on stealth mode, see the sub parameters, set the clock, date and time, set a preheat ramp up or a screen timeout. And I'm gonna read to you the list of protection features it has because this is awesome. And then I will show the unboxing. So it has overcharge protection, over discharge, over 10 second protection. So it cuts off after 10 seconds with the fire button being pressed, short circuit protection and overcurrent protection, reverse polarity protection and temperature protection. I love me a vape with an extensive protection feature list. So let's open it. Here's the mod. Battery warning card, user's manual, micro USB to USB cord. And it looks like there's space for like a tank and like extra coils and spare parts if this was a kit, but it's just the mod. And here 
is the mod. And here are the colors it comes in, just in case you're curious. So that is the Tinker 2. It's a heavy duty mod. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. I got mine from directvapor.com, so you can also get it there. Free shipping in the US on orders over 60. And they always got some kind of sale going on, so check it out. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching.